In this project video, I'm going to show how I made this bowl from Pear. Hi, welcome back to the Woodworking Shed. So in this project video, we're going to be making a bowl from Pear and then colouring it with some, some gold leaf and uh, it's kind of like a pretend patina effect, if you like, but you'll see all that later. So to start with, I've got this uh, blank, this pear blank. It's three inches across and six inches uh, across in this way. I've already trued it up. I've also put a recess so that it can attach to the chuck. I've also marked on where I want the foot to be. Um, it's quite a small foot, but we're going to curve up. So it's going to be quite a sort of straight curved bowl shape like that. So what I'm gonna do now is I will turn the outside, then I will sand it, and we'll take it from there. Oh how it burns, we barely started on every turn, keep moving further and all So I've sanded that back to 800 and it is really, really smooth. Um, so now I'm gonna apply some sanding sealer to it, leave it a few minutes and then just cut that back with the 800 grit again. When you're applying the, the gold leaf, you really wanna try and have as smooth a surface as possible. If so I was just finishing this now with, with wax or, or oil, there's no way I'd go down to 800, there's absolutely no point. But with the gold leaf, you really wanna try and do that as best as, as much as you can. And there you go and give it to me so you get me feeling like I So with the outside of the bowl now turned, sanded to 800, cellulose sanding sealer applied and cut back again with 800, it's time to bring it over to the bench to do the gold leafing. So I haven't done the inside yet. The reason for that is when we start to part, apply the colour later, if anything goes round the side, it's going to get inside the bowl and it's going to be a nightmare to get it out. So what we'll do is leave that in there now and then we can turn it out once we've finished all the colouring and we'll have a nice clean edge. So I've just got this, uh, they call a bench dog cookie cutter, uh, cookie cutter, bench cookie or something. It's just a sort of sticky raised thing just to put this on so it's not completely on the bench, which means I can get all the way around it. In this pot, I've just got some uh, acrylic gold size, uh, which is like a, like a glue. Um, but it's it, it's called size and it's just watered down at ever such a slight amount just to make it easier to apply. So I'm just going to put that over it now. Then it'll be a case of leaving that till it becomes tacky. Uh, I've mentioned this before in previous videos. You don't want the glue to dry or the size to dry, but you want it to become tacky. So it's a bit like the back of uh, sticky tape and you do that before you uh, apply the gold. So I'll get that done and then I'll see you when it's time to do the golding. Gilding. Gold leafing, metal leafing. Okay, so I've left that for about an hour and a half now, and it's just tacky, uh, as I said before. It needs to be a little bit like uh, like sellotape, like the back of sellotape. So now it's time to apply the actual leaf itself. So I've got my cutting board and a knife to cut it with. It's definitely a lot easier to work with smaller chunks than it is try to work with the big sheets. Uh, you don't waste as much that way either. So let's make a start. And I'm not going to talk during this because as soon as you start breathing and air starts moving around, it, it just goes all over the place because it's so thin. So let's just get it done.
Okay, so that's our uh, gold leafed. Um, so all he was doing there at the end was just with the brush, just going round it and making sure that it's all pressed down and pushed down into the glue. At the same time, it does scrape away or brush off some of the loose bits, but you're not too concerned with those at this stage. It's just about making sure it's all pushed down into the glue. And then with a the cotton glove, you can just ever so lightly, and I mean, do you really have to be quite light with this, just brush your hand over it and that should help to take off any of the loose bits. So back at the lathe now, I've gold leafed it and I've also just given it a quick coat of sanding sealer just to help protect the leaf. And what we're gonna do now is apply the color. And I'm gonna do that using the intrinsic colors, uh, mostly because they're water-based and they just take a little bit longer to dry. And I'm gonna use the airbrush, so let's get on with it. So what I'm doing now is just using a hairdryer just to blow it around a little bit. And this is what helps to give it the, uh, the pattern. And you want to continue to use the hairdryer until it's all completely dried. Okay, so now what I want to do is apply a coat of lacquer. And this is just regular uh, car lacquer uh, that you can just pick up from, a, from any car shop. All right, you do this with the lathe running, but you want to do it quite slowly. I've got it about 150. And there you go. So now we'll just leave that to dry for a little while. A couple of big streaks on it here. Uh, I'm not sure I like those, but the, the rest of it's come out really well. Right, I'll leave that to dry for a little bit and I'll give it probably two or three coats. And then when I come back, we'll uh, reverse it and carve out the inside. So that's the outside complete now and it's finished with the decorating. So what I need to do now is turn the inside. Obviously I've reversed it onto the chuck. I thought it was probably worth just quickly going over what I've done so far. While it's quite a simple process, while you're trying to explain it and do it at the same time, sometimes things can get missed. So let's just go through it one more time. So the outside of the bowl was turned and sanded back to 800. Sanding sealer applied and then obviously denibbed. So then gold leafed, coat of cellulose sanding sealer which just helps to protect the gold leaf a little bit. Should also just point out that I use imitation gold leaf on this. Uh, there's no way that I could afford to put real gold leaf over something of this size. The next step is to coat it and I use the intrinsic colors and I used the black for this. The reason that I use the intrinsic colors is because they're water-based and they take longer to dry and that's what you want with something like this. So a heavy coat, and I use the airbrush, um, although you probably don't need to use that, but you certainly don't want to use a towel. You want to use a, the sort of trigger spray or an airbrush for it. Coat the whole thing with the, the black dye. And what happens is it starts to say sort of react. It starts to move around because it's a water trying to sit over the top of the, over the, the metal and the, and the sanding sealer. So what you then do is you need to try and dry it and blow it around at the same time. And with that, I use the hairdryer. And that's what ends up with this effect. Having done that and let that dry, then a coat of lacquer. Couple of three coats of lacquer, just to kind of seal it all in there. And we're where we are now. And that's it, really. It's as simple as that. You can blow it around more with the, uh, with the hairdryer and you can get these longer, darker lines 
or you can leave it to sit a little bit more and you end up with more of this kind of mottled pattern. So anyway, I hope that makes sense. Um, if not, please leave me a comment uh, in below and I'll try and go through it again, maybe do another video of it, but let me know, hopefully that makes sense. Right, so now what we am gonna do is just hollow out the inside. So that's it hollowed out and I've also sanded it to 240 and put some cellulose sanding sealer on it and now I'm going to use some Yorkshire grit to give it a really nice smooth finish and then we'll apply some wax. So that's the Yorkshire grit done and now it's going to be a case of hand machine high glass. Okay that's all done so let's take it off the, uh, off the chuck and have a look at it. Right, well there we go, there's the, uh, there's the finished piece. Now as I said earlier, if any of the method that I used to decorate the outside of this wasn't clear, if it didn't come across very well or you need some further explanation, please leave me a comment in the, uh, in the comment section below and I will do my best to try and answer it in one of my, uh, my, my weekly updates or I'll create a follow up uh, video for it. Um, but I'm really pleased with the way that's come out. I wasn't sure about these extra lines, these larger lines that, that I had at one point. But actually, I'm starting to quite like them. I actually think it looks more, more interesting than this side. Um, but yeah, lovely finish on the inside as well uh, with the Hampshire Scene High Gloss. And all that's left to do really is to say thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you find this useful. Um, I'd love to see if you try this yourself. Um, great to see any pictures of uh, things that you've made using this method. If you haven't subscribed before, I invite you to do so. Um, I try and post regularly every week of a project video and there is also the weekly update that I've just started to do as well.